And so the real question is, can we di differentiate between ALS and ALS mimics? And the answer is definitively yes. What you're looking at in the here are ALS patients versus healthy controls. And when you look at the microRNA, every one of them has a very large difference between here that, that we can look at and identify statistically. When we looked at the Parkinson's versus ALS patients, only five out of the eight were had a very large difference or was were significantly um, different in a in what's called a Man Whitney uh, statistical test, and a couple of them were not. But it was interesting to see that you could get different in ALS patients versus Parkinson's patients. The pattern of regulation, whether they were downregulated or upregulated were different, and that was important.